In this video, I'm going to discuss what Microsoft Project Oakdale is. I'll also go over some of the various benefits and a few of the limitations to the platform. Lastly, we'll cover how to install Microsoft Project Oakdale in Teams. Hey everyone, it's Joe from FC Tech, a great place to find tech news, reviews, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and all the links we reference in this video can be found in the video's description. And with that said, let's jump into it. So what is Microsoft Project Oakdale? Project Oakdale is a native low-code data platform for Teams. It also provides relational data storage similar to SQL tables, rich data types, and enterprise-level security and governance. Microsoft's end goal is to make this platform easy enough for non-programmers to use. Some key benefits and limits include the ability to build low-code apps, flows, and chatbots for and within Microsoft Teams, a highly visual editor that makes it super easy to define table data and forms. I plan on creating a video dedicated to creating tables and setting up relationships very soon. If that interests you, please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you're notified when all, all new videos are posted, including that video. Project Oakdale is included with most Teams licenses, so chances are if you already have Teams, you probably are eligible for this in the future. Uh, as this is still in preview mode, you may not have it at the moment, especially if you're not a, a targeted release customer or user, uh, but it should be available very soon for you, so just stay tuned for that. There's a two gig data limit per team, as well as a limit to one million rows, so that's something to be aware of. But please keep in mind, this is a huge leap from the 5,000 row limit that we have with uh, Microsoft Lists and SharePoint Lists along with Power Apps. So uh, th this is still a huge jump and a step in the right direction in my opinion. Project Oakdale supports up to 500 teams within an or organizational tenant. For most organizations, this shouldn't be any issue, especially if not every team is using Project Oakdale. Lastly, you do have the ability to upgrade from Project Oakdale to CDS if you start to run into any of those upper limits that I mentioned before. Microsoft wanted to make the ability to upgrade fairly easy, uh, especially where some people may outgrow the, the included version. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and install Project Oakdale within Microsoft Teams. Please bear in mind that I am a target, target release uh, customer uh, for Office 360, Microsoft Office 365. So you may or may not have access to this yet, but it should be coming soon. Um, that being said, the process should not change going forward. They may change some of the wording or the, or the labeling in the future, but the process should basically be the same. So to get started, I'm going to pull up Microsoft Teams. Here we are. And in, in the left nav navigation pane, I'll click on the ellipsis and I'm going to type in Power Apps. Click on that, click on add for me. I can also uh, add it to chat, but I'm going to add it or add it for my team, but I'm gonna add it for me. I'm going to pin this so that it remains in the navigation bar. And you'll see here that there's an option to create an app. You can go ahead and click on this. And from here, you can actually select a team where you want to install this. So in this case, I'm actually going to install it in the, uh, the, the Filthy Casual Tech team. I'll click Create. And you'll see here, it'll say, it'll, it'll say give, give us a minute. What it's doing is it's actually building the database on the back end, uh, the, the Project Oakdale database, which once again, it's built on CDS. Uh, it's like CDS Lite, I guess that's probably a good way to put it. Uh, once this is done, you'll, you'll see that we will be prompted with an editor screen. I'm probably going to speed through some of this so you, you all don't have to sit there and sit here and watch it, so. All 
All right, here we are. We're at, we're at the editor screen, and, and for anyone who's familiar with Power Apps, this is going to look very similar. Some of the screen is a little bit different. It may be, may be lacking some of the features, but it's mostly here. Uh, I'm going to cover how to create a new table, as I said before, in a future video, along with how to set up relationships between tables. Uh, so please subscribe and stay tuned for that. But for now, that's pretty much it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of what Microsoft Project Oakdale is and how to install it in Teams. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.